Welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using C++. I'm your host, Alex Louie. In this edition of this lesson, actually, I want to go over the output using C out whenever you're trying to output anything to the console. When you output things or variables or numbers out to the console, you'll notice that you really don't have a well-defined formatting of your output. Now I'll show you an example. Let's say I wanted to print these numbers out to output. What I really would like is for these numbers to be lined up together. So 5, 7, and 3, 4, 6 to be lined up in one column. These numbers to be lined up in another column. And these numbers to be lined up in the rightmost column. And I attempt to do this by putting a space in between each variable. But you're going to see what happens when I try and do that. So when I try and do that, you're going to see that a lot of the spacing is off. Now the solution for this is using a manipulator called set with and it's short for set you can use a set w manipulator and what this allows me to do is put spacing for each variable that I'm going to print out and which I'm going to show in my next example so let me stop this the first thing you're going to notice is that you should always include iomanip.h in your project so that you have these manipulators available to you. The second thing that you're going to notice is now I'm going to actually comment this code out. And I'm going to move on to section 2 which actually uses these manipulators. So what these manipulators do is they set a space with for each variable that is proceed is, is actually going after this set with so as I taught you before that for each of these left left hand left less less than less than signs there is a variable or some type of manipulator uh, attached to it for this particular one we have the num1 which is a 2897 that's attached to this and now we're gonna have the set with manipulator with a parameter of 6 so what this means is that for this particular variable we are gonna set the field width to 6 spaces or 6 really 6 bytes but it, we're talking about just space field spaces because we're talking about output and how it looks on the console a very nice visual representation of that would be something along the lines of this. So you have your set width for num1 is set to 6. So what that really means is that on the console screen you will have 6 spaces that are going to be allocated on the actual console screen where the number that you're printing out so for this particular case you have num1 whose value is 2897 now by default set width right justifies all the output so what you're gonna do is you're gonna count six spaces including the input that you're trying to print out so for this particular example you're gonna have a 2 here a 9 here and I'm sorry an 8 here a 9 here and a 7 now we are gonna still have two spaces ahead of this but now anything that comes after or before this is gonna ha is gonna be preceded by two spaces so for example in this particular case after this out after this outputs 2897 for num2 we're also setting a width of 6 so the actual next output that we're gonna see is also has a field space of 6 so you're gonna have the same 6 spaces except that if I do a copy of this let's just copy this and paste it here right uh, you're not gonna have anything for these but you will have the number 5 over here but you're gonna have everything here preceded by now 4 
well five spaces and the one including that digit okay which if I put these side to side side by side I'm putting them as big squares but if I put them side to side you really have something along the lines of well it's gonna be hard to um, let me undo that you're gonna be really having these next to each other and I can actually show you a live example if I run this here compile and run you're gonna see that now as I told you before you have six spaces right right justified and then you also are gonna have six spaces right justified and then six spaces right justified which allows you to actually line these up pretty perfect perfectly uh, as you would want them to as in columns okay so again my example here was uh, my point here was to show you visually how it would look except I cannot replicate them side by side but really this this row here should go after this and they go right next to each other so you gotta remember that with C out it's a dumb output object unless you tell it or give it some type of manipulator it's really not gonna do much for you and just gonna just gonna throw the output out on the screen unless you use these set width so this parameter here on for the set width is the actual field length that you're gonna use for your variable another example I use is if you're trying to do a report so let me comment this out when doing a report you kinda wanna label everything in the middle and then label fields so that they correctly align next to each other so if I was doing this without the set width okay and let's try that let me do this without the set width I'm going to see a big difference here. I'm just going to comment this out. Okay. So I'm trying to create a, a employee report and you see this doesn't really look right. I mean it's all just a line to the left and there's really no spacing here right I can always put a little bit of spacing here but what I really would like is this whole thing for employee report to be right here in the middle and these fields to be right here in the middle and again with set width is very easy to do that because now I can manipulate the field length or the field width for each particular string constant Okay, so if I run this now, what's really happening is, remember, everything is right justified. So this field length is going to have 48, oops, 48 characters, including the employee report string. So if we were to look at boxes, right, you're really going to have 48 of these boxes. Okay, and I can actually edit this. Let's try and let's delete the table. And then we're going to insert a table. And this is actually going to have 48, right? So insert. So let's assume that there are 48 spaces between here. What you really are going to have are 48 little blocks that will include this particular text of employee report where employee report will take let's count how many spaces in here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so out of those 48 spaces the word employee report will take up 14 of the 48 okay and then here the same thing you're going to take up 14 of the 48 now this again 
because they're evenly distributed, I use 48 here and 48 here, you're never really going to have a problem of lining them up together because you're always going to have 48 and then 48. Depending on this text here, you may have a little bit of different of difference of width. Now, for employee name, what I did is I used only 31, right? It's right justified. So out of those 31, you got to take out the length of this text, right? So probably about 14, 13, 13 characters is going to take up. And then after those 13 characters, you're going to have the remaining of those 31. Same thing with age. You have 16 characters in total that you're going to have. And then you have the word age. So really you have, you're going to have 13 spaces and then the word age. Okay. Because you have three characters, 16 minus three will give you 13. So that's 13 spaces plus the length of the text here. So you're really looking a little bit of, a little bit of math where you have to subtract and then add it back in as to how many spaces you're going to have. So when you subtract it, that's really how many spaces you're going to have. Subtract it from the length of your output variable. Okay, this concludes this lesson for output manipulators. You can always reach me at uh, parttimeadjunct.gmail.com. Thank you for listening. I hope this clarified the set width. Uh, output manipulator. Now, and the last thing I want you to remember is that this is right justified by default. Uh, and in the next few lessons, I'll show you how you can use the left and right justification manipulated. Thank you very much.